Lobo. We'll get to him in just a second. As Craig has been saying all morning, we're in the midst of a deep freeze, and it'll only stay that way for the next few days. Yeah, the ground has snow, it has ice, it has sand, it has salt. It can make it hard to get around, not only for us, but also for our four-legged friends. They are cute, they're cuddly, but they can't tell us when they are too cold. And joining us this morning is Alina Houtman from Best Friends Animal Society and Lobo, a husky mix. Yeah. She has some tips for all of our four-legged friends and how to take care of them. But first, we want to talk about Lobo because Lobo is up for adoption. Yes, Lobo is up for adoption at Best Friends Animal Society's location in New York City. We're at 307 West Broadway. He is four years old and he came to Best Friends from the ACC this week and is ready to find his loving home. Wow, so he just arrived. And he did. I love Lobo, and Lobo seems to really be intrigued by the, the very couch. mysterious back room back there. <laughs> and also, uh, Lobo does want to get on the couch. I am in favor of it, but we have been told by some of the folks in our studio that no dogs are allowed on the couch. Um, so this time of year can be difficult for dog owners, yes. not just in terms of uh, keeping their dog warm and knowing when they're too cold and need to go back inside, but also the salt and sand on sidewalks can be damaging to their paws. Do you have any tips or recommendations for what people should do? Yeah, so when when dogs are outside, if they lift their, <laughs> if they lift their paws or you're a rule breaker. If they lift their paws, sit down, and won't walk or are whining, those are all signs that they're pretty cold. So you can actually opt for booties at that time to see if that helps them. But, but the some dogs do the, the prancing thing with the booties because they... It's they hard for them to walk. Exactly. Yeah. That was a, a jarring moment with Lobo. I mean, Lobo's a big dog to have in hey, here, by the way. Come on. It's He's okay. a little bit. It's okay. Um, and then what about, we see a lot of dogs with sweaters and vests on. When is a good temperature? Or should, what kind of dog should be wearing um, outerwear? So look at a day like today. So when temperatures reach 40, sorry, 20 degrees Fahrenheit or below, dogs are at risk of hypothermia and getting frostbites, mm. you're going to want to break out the layers. Get a sweater, a jacket, both, mm -hmm. and limit walk times and potty breaks to five to ten minutes because this is dangerous weather for people and for pets. Okay. Come so, on. Um, what do you uh, say to people who are uh, interested in um, <laughs> walking their dog off leash? So. I always recommend walking your pet on a leash, but in a snowstorm, you're definitely want, gonna wanna keep your pet on a leash because during a snowstorm, pets can le lose their scent and they can get lost. Also, always make sure that your pets are microchipped and have an up-to-date ID because if they are to get lost, you're gonna wanna be able to be reunited as soon as possible. You don't want them to end up in an overcrowded shelter. Mm. And just getting back to Lobo here, what kind of family does Lobo need? He sheds, he's kind of energetic, so what? what yeah, what, you know what? what? Lobo's gonna need an experienced owner, someone who, you know, can give Lobo a lot of energy, a lot of time to go for walks and play time. He's gonna need to get like, you know, pretty exhausted. And <laughs> space to run around. Yeah, ideally. some um, outdoor space would be nice, but you know, there's always dog parks and long walks. We have Central Park here, so. I mean, it's such a, a beautiful dog. And he is. I, I he had, is. Um, growing up, a husky mix from North Shore Animal League that we rescued when I and my family, and they love to talk. Huskies do, and how do you know if, like, if I queued up a siren, if Lobo <laughs> would give us a howl? I don't have my phone on me, so I can't. Well, we have we just got him into our location, so he's not a barker yet. But yeah, he he's be. been backstage for quite some we time. Had, we we haven't heard didn't anything. hear him at all. Alina, thank you for being yes, here. Yes, thank you so really much for joining it. us. Yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. And to learn more about Lobo or Best Friends, just head to bestfriends.org. New dash York dash city. Okay, got okay. it. Thank you, Alina. And we'll be right back with a final check on your first alert forecast with Craig Allen. Thank you.